I think it's clear from the findings of the latest London Business Survey that business confidence has really taken a knock since the summer. Only 13% of the companies that responded to our survey are feeling confident about the economic prospects over the next six months. And 31% are feeling positive about the prospects for their own businesses. So obviously whilst that's a higher figure than the figure for the economy overall, it's still quite subdued. Now we see 55% of those are concerned particularly about the threat of a double dip recession in the UK over the next 12 months and 64% are only hiring when it's absolutely essential. So there are some clearly some dark clouds gathering over the UK economy as we go into 2012. But there are also some bright spots. I think it's important to note from the survey that 59% of businesses are still planning to expand next year and 42% are planning to expand in London. So there is some positive news out there, but clearly the overall picture remains one of some, some concern. Well, the CBI takes its lobbying priorities for London largely from the findings of our survey. So if we look at what our survey tells us, the top three strengths of London, according to um, the Capital's businesses, are access to skills and talent, access to international markets and proximity to customers and clients. Then on the negative side, the three biggest weaknesses are the high operating costs, the tax regime and the transport infrastructure. So that really shapes the CBI's lobbying priorities. And in particular, we are lobbying to make sure that companies can continue to bring skilled and talented people to the UK through having a visa regime that supports businesses bringing talented people in. We're lobbying for greater aviation capacity in London and the South East to make sure that London maintains its connectedness to the rest of the world. And we're lobbying for a competitive tax regime in London that doesn't deter skills and talent from the capital. The top three priorities we think for all of the candidates going into the mayoral election in 2012 are firstly to make sure that they really promote London as a place to do business internationally. So we've got a fantastic opportunity next year with the Olympic Games. The eyes of the world are really going to be on London. So it's really important important that the candidates for the mayor really promote how London is going to be an excellent place to do business and really showcase the amazing variety of business and talent that we have here in the capital. The second major priority is to continue to improve the transport infrastructure. We've seen some significant announcements with the um, progression of the Crossrail project and the commitment to funding the tube modernisation, but we still need to see a significant step change in our road network, for example, that continues to perform badly for business and greater aviation capacity to ensure that London can retain its centre as an international hub. And then the third key priority for the mayoral candidates has to be to focus on supporting SMEs through a difficult economic situation. The findings of the London Business Survey show that the majority of companies are now starting to turn their attention to the Olympic Games next year and are starting to think about what it is they need to be doing to get prepared, which is absolutely right. Our key messages to business has been you really need to start thinking about this now. It's not too late, there's still about eight months to go, so there's plenty of time to start thinking about these things, but business absolutely needs to start thinking about them now. And we've been working with a host of organisations such as Transport for London, the Olympic Delivery Authority, and LOCOG to really make sure that the advice is out there for businesses and there's a huge amount of really detailed information now and more co is coming out all the time. Transport for London has just put out some really specific information on specific roads for example or specific tube stations. So businesses should really be looking at all of that and thinking about how will this affect me and talking to their suppliers and their customers to make sure that they've got an integrated plan ready for summer next year.